Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Hello and welcome to Hello Self Podcast. I am Patricia Leonard, your host, and I am so glad you're here with me today. I'm starting something new for 2024. Normally, I have guests and I interview guests, but today I am temporarily, I'm going to try it to see how it works, shifting my podcast format from that guest interview to episodes that focus on segments to about awakening to and honoring self. I believe that we are in a new chapter in our world and in our society, and it's about major transformation. It's going to require a lot of mind shift, a lot of mindset that need to be changed about not only about the world, but about who we are. And my goal here is to help you see yourself in a different light. With that in mind, the next chapter for Positive World and Society Change asks humanity, you and me, to release any negative mindsets associated with personal, professional, and global thinking and reach for a love-focused state of living. I have given myself several notes here because I want, and I'll be referring to those because I want to make sure that I'm taking the thinking that I've been having and putting it into something that makes sense for you too. Because so much of the time, we think that what we're thinking is the way everybody else is thinking. And it may not be, but what we'll be doing is defining what a mindset is, and how that drives our life. The mindset shift is about engaging in a particular way of thinking, a set of beliefs, an attitude we have, and perspectives that shape how we interpret and respond to the world as well as to ourselves. We may have a mindset about who we are that we could never do anything different than what. No, I don't have that talent. I'm too old. Uh, It won't work for me. They just are lucky. And the attitudes are about who would want to help me? Who would want to give me an opportunity to write an article in their magazine? So we can get these attitudes and beliefs and perspectives. Those perspectives come from past experiences a lot of times. Just because, and I remember a lot of my guests have said this, just because I've been told no 20 times does not mean that I don't have something that somebody is interested in or that I have something to share that is not valuable. My goal here is to help us shift some of those So we see ourselves and we see our world and we see our society and we see people across the street in different, from a different perspective. I really like the Eastern culture because what they see is that every day is a new beginning. And what we often see in the Western culture is that it's just a continuation of what has been. No, I would suggest getting up every day and seeing yourself from a different perspective and seeing something that is valuable about you or somebody else. One of the authors that I like to follow, and I know he is an author that's been around forever and ever. However, I think that what I want to talk about in my podcast, Hello Self, is really something that this author and coach 
focused on in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And he's talking about all of these things. And he says that the circle of influence is a concept that refers to things that an individual has control over, such as what we just talked about, behavior, attitude, and action. Covey says that the core of change begins with the individual and ripples out to affect others and various aspects of life and living. So the way we are in the businesses we go to every day, the way we serve our customers. I just have recently been going through some physical therapy due to a surgery I had. And every time I would go, this young lady that was at the front desk, for some reason, I really connected with her. And I tried to figure out, and I, as a matter of fact, I told her manager, I'm trying to figure out exactly what makes her stand out. I said, she's just new with your company, right? And the director said, yes, that's true. And I said, I know one thing that I admire about her. And w many of us come in there at the same time for physical therapy, every age. Every a attitude that comes, but for some reason, she just takes it in stride and says hello to everybody. And then she says that she'll get the bill for every, and she just makes things feel smooth. And so I think that her attitude about her job is something that um, we could all learn from, and that is simply that life happens. And the way we respond to that life creates the environment in our work, creates the environment that we work in, creates our own emotions about certain things instead of getting all upset. She just makes everybody feel like a million dollars. And I have told her that. I, I want to support people, I feel, that are doing a great job of managing their personality, their business, and their professional attitudes. Because I think uh, we all could use an attitude change now and then. <laughs> this theories that I'm going that I've been uh, dancing around with is going to be focused on my book, my recent book, Hello Self, and it's awakened to the knowing of who you are. And I think that most of us have no idea who we are. And that's what I want to do is use the concepts in this book as a way to help us learn more about who we are, how we express ourselves, and the things that are real important in shifting 2024 to a very transitional year for our society, for the global world, and for you as an individual. Hello Self, as I mentioned in the book cover, is awakening to the knowing of who you are. To ignite the flame of desire for getting out of a flip flop lifestyle of acceptance and complacency. You're accepting the world's this way and it'll never change. No, Stephen Covey says the way you change your world is to begin to change yourself. It all begins because the only way we can change anything is to change our attitude about it and to see life from a different perspective. I know driving down the road, sometimes somebody cuts you off. And the perspective is that person is, yeah, well, maybe they're in a hurry. Maybe they didn't even think about what they did. Maybe they've got an attitude about society. <laughs> that doesn't mean that we have to do that. But what we'll do a lot of times is the physical gestures and the pulling in front of them. But maybe if we ask ourselves, help me 
change my attitude. Just maybe, based upon Stephen Covey, will change our world. And in changing our world, maybe we can teach others. In this uh, uh, lifestyle, stepping out of a flip-flop lifestyle of complacency and stepping into a high heel style of life and living. Now, this is not about high heel. It's simply stepping into a higher level of who we are. Because when we're in these attitudes and putting others down and have a negative look at the world, we're, that is not a high heels attitude. That's a complacency. This is the way it'll always be. Oh, that's how she is. You just got to get used to her. Or he's never going to change. He has always been that bullheaded guy or that child. Oh, my God, that child's behavior. No, we always want to look out there and create something negative about it. But if we can take a high heels style of living and life at life, we're stepping up into a higher level of thinking. And that's really a metaphor for what high heels are about. I have developed this show, and I'm going to talk to you more about it. And it's called High Heels Cabaret. So we'll talk more about that because that's one of the reasons I'm shifting the podcast a little bit is to help people start to express at a higher level of understanding and their high heel shoes behavior. <laughs> so we'll, uh, right now what I'm looking at is four episodes. And each episode will focus on excerpts taken from my Hello Self book. It's a book that I wrote a couple of years ago. And I've been doing this podcast around the interviewing, asking people, what was the Hello Self moment that changed your life? Sometimes they talk about getting let go from a job. Sometimes losing a family member. Sometimes having a catastrophic health event. Sometimes whatever it is, or a family event that is devastating. Or being rejected for something that they truly wanted. So those were hello self moments that a lot of my interviewers defined. And so this is, this book was written to help look itself and start to think, how can I transform myself? And I want to tell you something about this book. It is, and I'm going to tell you each of the frames of it, but it is written as a film. Frame one, not chapter, frame one, frame two, frame three. Actually, there are nine frames. And the idea of the format of the book is for you to, each of the frames, to identify and do what they're asking you to do, what that frame is asking you to do. And what you're truly doing is creating a movie of who you are. And at the end, if you follow the whole thing through, what I give you At the end, for those who complete the movie film, the movie frames, and create their own film, what I give you at the end is an Oscar. So this is a little bit different. It's not a book of chapters. It's a book creating a film of your life that you can actually see. "Mm, This is who I am. Yeah, this is the way I've responded. This is. So it's Hello Self frames. And the final is your film frame completed. So the very first, I'll I'll give you what those frames are that we'll be discussing. The first one is, hello self, here is where it begins. So it always begins with self. And that's what Stephen Covey said. So in that frame, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Hello self, 
in frame two is about creating avenues to feel free to explore, express, and execute our dreams and goals. So it's about creating avenues. What? How could I go about saying who I am or expressing? So it talks about you may have written a book or you may be dreaming about this or you may have wanted. So it's looking at how can I create avenues that I could feel more in alignment with who I am? Hello Self is clearly the starting point where a purposeful and passion-driven career and life begins. All dreams and desires and goals actually originate in the imagination prior to taking any steps toward accomplishing them. Frame three, it's a wake-up call for individuals and businesses because Hello Self is not just about one person. It's about an entity. And yes, it is about one person. It can be about an entity. What about a business that they recognize they're not really customer focused? Experience in the world today is so important. That's what drives how I experience. I just told you about the young lady at physical therapy. I love going in there and just, it wasn't like I dreaded the physical therapy. I enjoyed seeing her. Hello Self can be a wake-up call for individuals and businesses and bring new flashes of insight and possibility. If they really say hello to the business, what do they find out about that business? And really be honest. Like sometimes it's surveying your employees and sometimes it's surveying your customers. Another frame is hello self having discovery conversations with self can open doors revealing that we may have become what we may have become with our outdated beliefs, habits, and accepted cultural norms. Have you ever talked to yourself? If you do, you probably have lied. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Uh, I'll tell you about something that I I thought was a real wake-up call for me. I was asked to do a performance at a a little, a small cabaret show here in Nashville, Tennessee. And the person who asked me to do a performance, and it was only 10 minutes or 12 minutes long, she said, write something about yourself. And it was Letters Never Sent was the theme of her show. And so I wrote a letter to myself. Patricia, how come you decided to do this? Patricia, how come you didn't support me when I wanted to do this? And it was like I couldn't believe what I was saying to myself, but it made me really look at how I get in my own way of being all I can be or get in my own way of getting the things from others that I want and just in general, creating my goals and dreams. So it was really a wake-up call. So we'll talk more about maybe writing a letter to yourself. I actually did that with a corporation in Indianapolis, Indiana, when I was doing more business consulting. And it was between Christmas and Thanksgiving, and it was about communication. And I said to the group, I'm not going to do a flip chart and all that stuff, the overheads and all that thing that we always do. I said, here's what we're going to do today is I brought some cards, and I want you to write a letter, a note to somebody that you're grateful or you're thankful that they're in your life. And you tell them why. The group got dead silent after I had given out the cards and they started writing. I said, anybody that would be open to sharing what they've written, I'd like you to share. And if you want to say who it was to, you don't have to name them, but you could say to my brother, to my dog, to my whatever, (laughs) but to my mother, 
there were tears. They were corporate people, and there were tears coming down. We have no idea who we are, what we carry inside that we need to get rid of so that we can live a high heels type of lifestyle. In other words, get out of our pity party or victim kind of state and get a mind shift that is a higher level of thinking and your attitudes change. We need, as a world, a mindset that is more loving and a mindset that is more in alignment with who we truly are as individuals, even though we don't recognize it. Another one is another frame. Hello Self acknowledges that every day we are a new person. And you remember I said the Eastern culture sees every day as a new beginning. Get up in the morning and see that day as a new beginning. What are you going to do that day that puts you at a higher level of thinking about who you are? Can you find some things? Patricia, I'm glad you did that. That was really nice. Patricia, did you see how that person at the grocery store smiled when you said, hello there, how are you today? Or do you see how somebody was really grateful because you paid for their coffee at Starbucks? Did that make you feel better, Patricia? Yeah, giving, helping. Or you help somebody do something, put their groceries in the car. Whatever it is, learn how to celebrate yourself. Because if you can learn that, which is the toughest part, then learn, then use that as a springboard for being kind to others and celebrating others. The last one in the book is Hello Self is a chance to delete our old story and rewrite it based upon our present knowing. So after you've gone through all these frames, how would you rewrite your film story now at the end as a closure to your film? But it's the conclusion to your film and the impact that it will make on those who view it. Patricia will be right back. This episode is brought to you by Runway to Success, a division of Hello Self. Runway to Success offers personal development, career transition, resume coaching, and support to help you reach your goals. Contact Patricia today to turn your can'ts into cans and your dreams into plans. So those are the things that we'll be going through. Now, let me take you episode by episode to see how that involves you. I hope you got some ideas there. But episode one, and that'll be in a couple of weeks, we'll do that, is getting to know yourself may begin simply with a hello self. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Nice to meet you. The next in that introduction will be orchestrated with the frames from my Hello Self, Hello Self book. So episode one is saying hello to who you think you are and then manifesting that out to see clearly about who you are as you go through these Hello Self frames. So at the end of your film, you've got some things that you understand more about yourself. And hopefully, some things will shift. That's how I see the 2024 society, global look, and personal look making a shift. We have to be aware and pay attention. It's mindfulness. Some people call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But learn how to celebrate and to acknowledge who you are and become aware of your behaviors and your thinking. Episode two 
The message for episode two is about identifying that which is your truth and passion about your life. So we'll spend a podcast talking about you, the message that you're, that you've discovered, the truth and passion. Now, I won't be interviewing each of you, but I'm inviting you at the end of this podcast to share with me if you're open to that. And so episode two is about identifying your truth, what you value. So we'll go through some activities to help you. What is it you really value? What do you believe? What you wish your legacy to be. That'll be another thing in two. What do you wish that people, I just had somebody call me today and say, Patricia, I want to interview you. And maybe I'll interview you about one of your books. I said, no, you know what? Yeah, thank you. That's a nice honor to interview me. But what I like is maybe for us to think about who am I as a woman? Who am I as a person in this society today? Who am I in my thinking? So we need to dig deeper than all this surfacey stuff that we put out there on resumes, that we put out there on our marketing strategies, that we put out there. So episode two is really discovering who you are and what you value. And I'm going to make you get real. <laughs> episode three, defining your message and expression. Now. Once in episode two, you've identified what you value. Then in the next episode, I want to, and this is really coaching. What I'm doing with you is what a coach would do with you if you're open to learn. Defining your message and expression format is getting clear about what you, how you wish to share your message. So I mentioned earlier about High Heels Cabaret. So it's really sharing your message in some art form. And not being an actress, not being a number one recording star in anything, not being a published, it's a person wanting to express that others might learn. Because my whole goal is about educating, empowering, and engaging. That's what my goals are in everything I do. You might decide in episode three, I've been wanting to write a book. Maybe I'll, I, I, that's what I'm going to do. And so we start to identify what's the title of that book. Why do you want to write a book? So there'll be uh, documents too that you can get. So you might decide to create a comedy act. I have a woman that is going to be on my High Heels Cabaret show. She has never done comedy. But she and I were talking on the phone one day. She is a filmmaker. But we were talking on uh, the phone one day, and we started laughing about something, a song she wrote. And I said, oh, my goodness, you have to do that on my High Heels Cabaret show. And let's make a comedy act out of it. And now that's... Every time we talk, we laugh about the comedy act that she's going to do. She didn't even think about that till we saw it. it was so funny. And I think that there's a lot of greatness that is dormant in us because we've never allowed it to express. And the reason 2024 is so critical for a mindset shift is that it's a transformative time in our world, in our universe. And I believe that fir firmly that it's now the time to become who you've wanted to become and to express yourself without any fears. And that is exactly what I can help you do. I can encourage you and others can encourage you to step out, step out of that box of complacency and, oh, this is the way it is, victimhood or 
Oh, I'll do it in 10 years when the kids grow up. No! Your soul is screaming for expression. That's what 2024 is about. Not only for us as individuals, for the politicians, for the filmmakers, for the businesses, for education. It's screaming for a different type of expression. One that is more in alignment with human being. Being human and individuals. Not as, oh, this is a way men act or this is a way women act. I've got a um, film star that I'm going to share in one of these episodes. She made such a profound statement about men, and I want to share it because I want to know, I want people to know that there are those out there making mind shift changes. And I'm going to dig them all up and give them a celebratory comment. <laughs> and hopefully you will learn from that too. So you might want to start a group with young children, learn, helping them learn how to express and share. Because we tell them two and two's four forever and ever. No, it may not be. We tell them that this is the way society is and this is the way you'll be treated because you came from a poor family. Oh, let me tell you, if you want to talk about a poor family, we need a conversation. Nobody would believe the way and the household, and not only the household, but the income that I grew up in. You would not believe it. But you don't have to stay there. You can step out. I'm going to write my, I'm going to do a film documentary this year. And I mentioned this to my brother up in Indianapolis. And he said, sis, I know the perfect, I, I said, but I don't know who it's about. And he said, I know the perfect person it's about. And I said, okay, tell me, because then I'll get started with it. He said, Patricia Leonard. I sat there for a while and I said, maybe I will, Mike, maybe I will. And then the next thing that came to me about two weeks later, and I put it in my log, the name of the documentary is Hats and High Heels. Those are two of my passions. And any of you know me, know that is two of my passions. Hats and High Heels. I'm known as the high heel. That's my brand, a high heels woman. But anyway, so maybe recording something on YouTube that is a passion of yours, getting it out there, expressing, coaching others about career possibilities, helping them step outside the box. There's so many things that you can do. Offer to have a speaking, do a speaking engagement to a business, a free session. I'll come and speak to your group free about whatever your passion is. So there's many things that you can do, and we're going to explore those in episode three. Episode four, and this is all I've got designed right now because I want to see what comes from this and if you find value in it. Episode four is implementing those commitments that you have made to self. In episode three, you're saying, this is the way I want to express myself. I want to write a book. I want to write poetry. I want to get up and speak about something that I wrote when I was six years old. I have a poem that I love, and I want to be a person who speaks that pro poem on High Heels Cabaret. Because remember, High Heels Cabaret is about uh, delivering, educating, empowering, and engaging messages in an art form. Because if we just put the words in a flip chart, everybody says, well, I've been there, I've read this before. No, we've got to engage their emotions, their mind, their physical being, and their spiritual being. And that's how we do it, is through the arts. 
Episode four is about implement. We can talk, talk, and talk, but we it's time to walk our talk. Our society needs us. And we need ourselves to move to the next level. So you may be asking yourself, well, what? how do I go about doing that? How can I express who these commitments I've made? Where can I go? How could... So I've got a few ideas down here, and I may have already mentioned some of them, but performing on my High Heels Variety Show, creating your own show. Why not? I'll coach you in that, and believe me, we can step outside the boxes of what goes on. Recording your thoughts on YouTube. You remember I mentioned that earlier, and then sharing it on some of the social media platforms. Creating a podcast or a Facebook Live. Creating your own podcast. Get somebody to help you. I'll help you. And I don't have a lot of knowledge about it, but I have someone who is very good about podcasting. But I can get you started on the thinking and why you should do it. Offering a business group a free workshop. Remember, I said that earlier. You can do those kind of things and get out there and start manifesting and testing, who am I, and celebrating yourself. Share an expertise you have with others. Whatever your expertise is, you might like physical fitness. You might be interested in crocheting. (laughs) Just sharing it. It doesn't matter. Somebody out there is interested. Open your own practice. Open your own business. How about joining with another? I had a woman one time came to me, wanted coaching on starting her own business. I said, what do you want to do? And she said, well, I'd like to do flower arrangements. And she said, I'd really like to have my own business doing that. And so we put a plan in place. Now, the first thing I did not say put a business plan. This is all the typical things we do. What I said to her, go find out if that's really your passion or not. Do you know any florists in town? Yes. Well, go offer to work free for them during the holiday, the, I don't know, Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or Father's Day or some holiday, Halloween, and watch what they do and watch the uh, way they create floral, the floral arrangements or the uh, idea of getting the, that particular holiday across, learn from them and you'll offer free opportunities for them for a busy time in their business. So I, I probably have already talked too much, but I want to say that In a couple of weeks, this is just, I just wanted to make this announcement. So my next step will be to do episode one, which we talked about was getting to know yourself. And we'll talk a little bit more about, I'll I'll give you some questions and things to ask yourself. And we'll go through that in a little bit more detail, but maybe not this long, maybe a 25 minute episode that outlines some things that as a coach and as an individual deciding to get to know who they are, some things that I might, and all of this will come from my Hello Self book, because it's already in there. Why should I recreate the world again? So you might want to buy a book. I'm not necessarily trying to sell it, but however, that would be nice. But you might want to listen to some of my Hello Self podcasts on Spotify. And uh, and I will put them out there on my own Hello Self channel too, channel, so that you can actually go on there and see some of the Hello Self interviews that I've had and learn from what the other people have been sharing about their hello self moments. So there'll be resources that we will share with this podcast that can help you get to know a little bit more about me and my work and why would you even want to attend any of these. 
after all, these uh, podcasts are free, so you can go in there and look at them at any time. But I'd like for you to subscribe because a subscription says that you are committed to doing the work of Hello Self and creating a better life for yourself and others in the coming year and maybe doing something with your life besides saying I wish. Maybe someday. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I couldn't do. Yeah, don't give yourself excuses. Jump in and start doing the work. And I'll help you. And I'm a kick butt coach. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what I've got planned for the next few podcasts that I do. So, I'm hoping that you will see the, some benefit in taking the time to watch these and to there will be they will be in there will be virtual we're trying to say that they will be virtual and they will be audio so whichever way if you're at the gym and you want to listen you can go on both ways uh so however it is for you but anyway my hello self podcast we will have all of that information in this podcast posting, my website is www.patricialenner.net, and my podcasts are on there, so you can see that. And also, if you want to reach out to me individually and talk a little bit more about this, my email is patricia at patricialenner.net. And I think I'm even going to give you my telephone number, 615-406-9644. Hello Self Podcast is really about transforming your year in 2024. Don't just go with what has been. It's time for you to renew your path. Whatever that renewal is for you, it's time. Get out there and make 2024 a, a celebratory year. I am Patricia Leonard, Hello Self podcast host, and my message to you is keep dreaming. Thank you for joining Hello Self today, and may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember this, keep dreaming.